Welcome everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. And today we are building our chick brooder. So y'all stick around. As you can see, I got my power tools. <laughs> so excited. So we're getting ready to build our chick brooder. We got 25 baby chicks on the way. They will be here in the next day or two. So we got to get this done today and we are running out of sun. We are running out of sun. So we've had a busy day already, but this chick brooder is a must. So y'all stick around. I'm going to take y'all along with us while we build our chick brooder. And um, yeah, I'm new at using power tools and stuff. Even though I love them, I'm new. Well, not all power tools. I've used some, not all, but um, yeah. So, y'all stick around. I am loaded and ready to go. I got my power tools. Got ants. We got everything. Got hubby on the way out. <laughs> so, y'all stick around while we get ready to get this chick brooder underway. Here he comes, the man of the hour. <laughs> Hello, how y'all doing? We're building the chick brooder, right, babe? Yes, we're building the chick brooder. And we... mm -hmm. Oh, look at him. He does something I don't do. Look, safety glasses. <laughs> Take these off and put those on. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to bring y'all along and show y'all what we do. Mm-hmm. boards are cut. This is going to be a, um, a two by eight, um, just uh, eight feet long, two feet wide for our birds. So we just finished cutting those pieces. Now we're getting ready to cut the uh, framing for them as well. So let's see what we do.
So Jackson is guarding the boards and the screws. Good job, bud. We appreciate it. Yeah, you're such a big help. Yes, you are. 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 Yeah, him touch up big help. Yes, yeah, him is. Yeah, Tim is. We're getting ready to brace the center of this. Um, and my husband came up with a great idea that as we put two little pieces of um, OSB on each side of this, that will give me, um, if I put a piece on this side, going across to there, and then another piece on this side, going across to there, that'll allow me to slide like a little board or something inside just to keep the chick separate from the other half if I wanted to. So that's what we're getting ready to do. So. The easiest chick brooder ever. Easiest chick brooder ever. <laughs> Look at this. He loves it when I call him Big Pop. Bro. <laughs> She's so crazy. She's so crazy. I think. All right, so we found this old tarp in the barn. And we're getting ready to make a floor out of the tarp. All right, so yesterday evening when we were building the coop, the camera ran out of juice. And uh, so we had to pick up where we left off today. So this is what we have done. We have um, put the lid together out of some one by twos. And we literally just ran screws um, through the sides of those. and. My husband for extra reinforcement he added some staples to each side as well and so now we are getting ready to roll out the chicken wire for the top of our frame and we're just going to use our staple gun to staple that down to the frame right babe yes we're going to staple it down real tight mm -hmm. you know what hold on i'm going to swing around because it's a little dark this way <laughs> maybe i need to just turn on the Turn on the lights. <laughs> okay. So, go ahead, babe. Yeah, we're going to roll this out and we're going to staple this down real tight and uh, put the top on and see, see what the results are. That's it. That's and then we will it. have our top to the chicken coop. That's right. All right, y'all take it on. chicken coop we are since these cabinets are coming out anyway we are going to be taking the hinges off of the doors my baby girl is taking care of that part and these hinges have been on there for i don't know how many years but we are two down <laughs> and one more to go and it was no easy task and i've attached another uh one by two here and that's going to connect my hinges for me and I am drilling this to the wooden brace that I have here. I pre-drilled the holes so that the wood wouldn't split and my screws would go in a lot easier. Awesome. Wave your hands in the air like you don't care. Drive by the people and they start to 
working staff. Do your dance. Do your dance quick. Nah. Well, come on, baby, tell me what's the word. The word up. Old school. Y'all don't know about that. I want to I want to do Girl's doing a great job. She actually likes this part. I don't. <laughs> I did not want to have to do all of this staple, so I'm glad she don't mind. y'all this is where we are the door is on we even made a little handle <laughs> and now this is my lamp post right here that we put in on the side and we got it braced on the inside with just a ripped two by four and that's also my post is also just a ripped um, uh, two by four right here Mm-hmm. So I may put in one screw, Aisha, just to secure it Where? right here in the center of this post. I have one going in from this side. Where? I think I'm gonna do that right in the middle. Dead center. And then we're gonna put a little chain right here. And I got this secured with two two and a half inch screws going down into here. So this is good and strong. And secure. Yeah. He's gonna he's pre-drilling so we can get another screw in there just to stabilize. One of these. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, and that should make sure that we hold it in place. Girl power! Girl power. All right. Good job, Isha. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, oh, and we got the hinges on. Isha, open that door. Yeah. Open the door so they can see it. Use the handle. We did the fancy handle stuff. Use the fancy handle. So we got the handle on. Hinges are working perfectly. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this is awesome. Okay. So, we're going to get the lamp post up now. I have a chain outside that we're going to hook this chain up to this so that we can hang our lamps. Did you do that? You did that, didn't you? Now I have to clean this. Yeah, it's your fault. It's your fault. 